Okay, welcome back. We're now looking at section four of this mock um, coursework, which is about anything that's menu driven, menu driven UIs, menu user interfaces. So again, you need to talk about what a menu is and you give me some examples. In fact, I just realized I don't have that sentence there. So I'm gonna copy this in and throw it in there now. So you need a discussion on what a menu is first before talking about the examples. So if I go back over here, I'm gonna drop this down and I believe the menu is on the next page. And the reason why I'm showing you this, boys and girls, is uh, no, it's just not on the next page, it must be in the previous page. The reason why I'm showing you this is if you do have access to this, then you can see this. It was, it was well worth looking into this and, and using it as well. So here we go, menu based. So you've got a little bit of an introduction here to explain what it is and what it is that you would expect to see in a menu based interface. So menu interfaces is a way of selecting options by clicking on a graphic, excuse me, on a device screen. So that graphic could be a button, it could be a list, it could be a pop-up or pop-down or pop to the side menu, uh, bar or something like that. And you can see the features here. The user interface displays a list of options. It can pop down, up, across or take up the whole screen like this example here. It can cascade, meaning um, when this user selects an item, another one drops out of it, whether if it's from the side or below or above it. All options are listed within a single menu are usually related to each other. So if you click on um, on your phone, for example, go to the settings, then it shows you all the settings. Then you click on uh, display, then it'll show you everything to do with the display. It wouldn't show you anything to do with your email account, for example, because that's a separate section. So in that single menu, it'll be anything to do with whatever the title was previous to it. So you've got a bit of information there that's going to help you with that general uh, discussion here, definition or explanation of what a GUI, uh, sorry, menu UI is. Then we need to do very similar to what we did in the previous section, uh, talk about how a menu could be seen and is found in PCs. So it says there, PCs. Questions are identical to the previous one. So you're going to say, what is a menu uh, on a PC? Give an example, talk about it. So maybe you can talk about a word. And in fact, right here on this recording, you can see at the top, you can see a menu going across. If I drag this down a little bit, you'll see more pops up. That's a menu, yeah? It, menus don't always have to go down or up. It can go sideways. So you've got a list of icons here, list of features here, tools, list of features and tools here. That's a menu. And in fact, I click on something here, for example, it gives you another list of menu, uh, list of uh, options. If I click on this, it gives you a list of options about size. That's all to do with size. So it's currently on the size 11, if it wants 12, 14, 18, it could do. Um, and so on and so forth. So you can use that as an example, but good news if you're in my class, I've got uh, a, you know, a folder ready for you for you to go and pick up a pick from so you can, you know, not waste any time, get it in there and talk about it. So you need to use some examples, get a screenshot, talk about the pros and cons of menus. And again, this is why this here is useful because you could talk about what they highlight here. You can see what the pros and cons are here. By the way, guys, because it's a practice, you can go online. You can get advice from your teacher. They can help you. But if you're in my class, I want you to become more independent. I want you to work by yourself. The research skills is in your hands. If you get stuck, then you ask, but you need to have evidence that you've tried yourself first. So once you've defined what a menu-based interface, user interface is, you talked about how it could be used in a PC, you then get a print screen between this and this, just like before. So a print screen in between that, that's where there's a gap there. So let's go to that folder. So this is a GUI folder, right? Let's look at the menu one, because see menu and forms. And you'll see there's a whole list of things here. You've got pictures and you've got um, videos as well. And because we're talking about a PC first, computers, there's no point you looking at um, um, Virgin here, yeah, which is a TV, Sky TV, Samsung Smart Washer, which is a washing machine. We can't use these. So we have to use something that's relevant to what we're talking about. So in this section, we're talking about PCs first. Then we're going to talk about phones and then we're going to talk about TVs. So we're going to do it in that order. However, that's not to say that you have to do it in that order. If you want to do phone first, you do phone first. You want to do uh, washing machine first or something else, that's that's completely up to you. But you just have to talk about examples of when a menu has been used as a user interface. Now to help you, I've got a whole list of examples here. Pictures 
and videos that you can watch, get some examples from, understand it, see how it works, talk about the pros and cons, get that information, put it into yours. So you'll see I've got a picture here for Sky TV, screenshots already done, it's nice and clear, you could talk about that TV, that TV here. But like I said, we're in this section, we're talking about PCs first, so let's look at that. PC, um, do I have one? Do I have one? I'm not sure if I do. Um, I think I do, but I'm going to go back here. Now, I don't want to confuse you because you might be thinking, but sir, you've just gone into the GUI example, and that's true. And this is a discussion that I had in a recent uh, CPD training course that I went to. And the discussion is that sometimes you can have GUIs with menus inside, inside of them. So if you want to go open this up, you can see, in fact, I'm going to ask you before I tell you, where can you see a menu here? This is a GUI in its entirety, as a whole it's a GUI. But if you had to stick, you know, just get a separate section out and say, that's a menu, where would you say it is? Okay, I'd like to think that all of you got this right and say, this area here. It's a list. There are no icons. It's clearly a menu. Okay, if I go to the next one, you'd say that perhaps a menu could be found when you go to the File Explorer. Okay, um, some of you might say that this is not a menu here because it's got icons in it. And you know what? You'd be right as long as you justify and say, look, if you say this is not a menu because this has got icons and colors and so on and so forth, that's therefore a GUI, you'll be fine. Uh, but just make sure you you um, justify what you say. So what I'm going to do is just to make this a bit easier for my lot, I'm going to basically get this one here. And I'm going to copy this and paste it in here. But boys and girls, you are allowed to get your own examples. I've just done this to make my uh, this, the, the life of my students a bit easier just because I want them to focus on the content rather than spending 10 or 20 minutes uh, finding a picture because that's just a waste of time. It's so easy to get wrapped, in, wrapped, wrapped up looking at Google Images and find, going through the hundreds and thousands of different examples that might be there. So rather than wasting time, I'm going to tell my class so if you're listening, boys and girls, if you're in my class, you're going to use this example here and just literally put a box around this and say, here's a menu in a computer. So that's on there. Um, when you go to the next section, you'll see, obviously, once you've got the screenshot, you've got to talk about the screenshot. You've got to explain what you see on the screenshot. Why is it there? What does it do? How does it do it? Does it help? Yes or no? Why? You explain it. So that there is a, descri a description or, or the discussion around the screenshot itself. So let me go through that again. This is a definition. This is an example of a menu from a PC. Then you get a picture. Then you talk about what you see in that picture. Then we go to the phone and it's exactly the same. So you get a phone and for this, I have given you some examples. Um, if I can find it. Um, there, Android. And you can see in here that this is a list is going down, you can't change it, it's a menu, yeah? Yes, it's got some icons, but it's you can't really change the way it looks. It is literally, it's a list, it's going, and when you, this is a great, exa great example, because you can see it says settings, once you click on settings, you see all this. Then this person clicked on sound and notification, then it showed them this middle page here. Then they clicked on interruptions, and then it showed this page here at the bottom. And the titles of each one, is the name of the one that I clicked previous to it. So you can see interruptions there because they clicked on interruptions in the previous one. It says sound and notifications here because they clicked on sound and notifications here. So you can see this This is a menu because if you look at the definition of a menu, again, you can see it says all options listed within a single menu are usually related to each other. That is related. You can see that is linked to there. This is linked to that. And it's all about sounds and notifications. Okay? So I'd like you to use that, boys and girls. Now, if you want to use something else, you can do, but just have to be careful that you find a menu from something. Now, I have said phone here, but you don't have to use phone. If you want to say a um, an MP3 player, yeah, guess what? I found an image from the original iPod, yeah, which is an MP3 player, it's a music player. You can see this is clearly a menu, yeah? You cannot say that's not a menu. It's very clear that's a menu. It's a list, you click it, 
goes there. You click it, it goes there. And you can see the specific cascading action here from artists to show you all artists. The person who clicked on C for all their artists starting with the C, and you see all of them here. I also have the iPod lineup here, which you could use. And the thing is, with this one, though, you'll have to show how it did start off with the menu and then it moved on to something else. But we're talking and we're focusing purely on the menu side here because don't so don't get distracted by that. I have a few other things as well. Let's have a look at what else we have here. Um, so the question is, and you've got TV here as well. So even though here, boys and girls, I've got TV, phone, and PC, you can use other examples. So I've got um, an application form. So if you want to talk about an application form instead, I've got an example here from Aldi. There we go. So you could talk about how that's a menu at the top and you've got a form here. Um, I've got, these are really good. This is a video from a BMW infotainment system. Uh, and you can see that this is clearly a list, which is therefore a menu. And if you watch it, uh, what I like about this is you can see how they interact with it, which is something you need to explain if you are gonna get the high marks, boys and girls. You talk about how they interact with it, and how that controls changes and helps them navigate through this menu. So this is definitely a menu, even though it's got some colors, don't get confused by that. This is the section we're talking about here. So if I go past here, you can see menu. Yeah, this is it's a dial, but it's still a menu. If we go into something else, look, that's a menu, it's going down. Okay, so find a specific spot there. That is a perfect spot to talk about menus. You can screenshot those and you can have more than one if you want, you can have two or three. I've got one from Audi as well here. Again, not taking any credit for these videos. These are all found on YouTube. And if you're watching from home, check their channel out. So this one's by Alex L. Dykes. If you Google uh, YouTube him, you'll find it. Um, and I just thought his videos here is very, very great, uh, perfect, because you know it's not only is he showing you the user interface, but he's also showing the interactions as well. So if you look here, you can see what it is that the user has to click on and what it does as a result on the screen. So you can see here, that's a menu. Yes, it's got some graphical elements here, but that there here on the left-hand side is a menu. So you could very easily screenshot that and say, this is a menu. You can tell how the user is on the first option, vehicle setting, because it's highlighted in red. If he controls a the knob down, then he'll move down to the next one, and the red bar will follow the person along. You can see that they are in the car systems menu because it says car systems at the bottom. It's like a little tab. So this is a menu. Okay, and you can see other examples. Now be careful though, because that there is not a menu. So if you took a print screen of that and say that's a menu, you'd be wrong and you'd lose marks. That's a sat nav. That's a menu because they're just words. It's a list. That is not a menu because they're using icons. That is. So anything is that resembles a list, you're, you know, it's a safe bet to say it's a menu, just to be on the safe side. So just because I said, and I say this again, ladies and gents, just because I said phone here doesn't mean you have to do a phone. If you want to talk about a car infotainment system instead, you can do. So in fact, I'm just going to make it simple and put car oh. car infotainment system if I can spell there we go and I've got TV here and the, the, the thing with TV is I've got a few I've got Virgin TV here I've got Sky TV um, and I've got a washing machine as well, actually. If I put that on for a second, you'll see it's really, really good. Again, this is all on YouTube. If you just Google YouTube this, you'll find some. So if you just type in um, Samsung Smart, uh, this is from CNET. Um, if you just type in Samsung Smart uh, washing machine, you'll find something like this. And this is great, again, because you can see a menu on the left-hand side. So you could change this one to Home Appliance. But make sure you explain and you write down what home appliance. Um, so you've got a few examples there. What else do I have? I've got... Ah, there we go. I've got Microsoft Word as well. So you could use this picture and talk about that top part there. But you need a good few examples. Okay, so this is a video. And the reason why this video is really, really good, those questions where it's asking you, uh, what is it, what's there, what are the pros and cons, how does it help, yeah, all these questions here. It's in here. They actually talk about it. So watch them, find them, talk about it. So 
as I said, not taking any credit for these videos here online. These are all on YouTube. I have simply downloaded them so that my students can use it in my class because they don't have access to YouTube in lessons. For those who are watching from home, go to lynda.com uh, to check out this video and just type in uh, how to use Microsoft Word ribbon and you'll find it there. So that should now bring us to the end of section four and you should have a good three detailed paragraphs talking about the examples uh, of menus being used in three different um, appliances. So I've got PC here, but you can use phone, car infotainment systems, a TV or home appliance. But like I said, I've got a whole list of things here that you can use, uh, pick from. I've got a Panasonic TV here. I've got a Samsung Smart TV here as well. It's really up to you. I hope that helps.